Hey everyone, and welcome to another pour video. In today's video, I'm using a Liquidex uh, sample that they sent me, and also the Cama pigments. So when Liquidex sent me those uh, samples, all yellow, um, I now have an abundance of yellow paint. So I decided to start experimenting with making my own colors, um, obviously yellow based. So I made myself a tangerine color and a yellow ochre and then just a regular yellow. And then while I was at it, I made like a maroon color and a gray. So with this first initial swoop, I was super happy with it. Um, it was so cool and I got cells almost immediately, which was really strange because there's no silicone in the paint right now. Um, but it kind of like paralyzed me. So I was afraid to do really anything else um, that would kind of mess up the first initial pass that I did. Um, and I think that was uh, kind of detrimental in the end for this painting. I, for the life of me, I, I don't know why I got so many cells like that. Um, I mixed it up like I normally do. There's just Floetrol and Liquidex pouring medium in it with a little bit of water. Um, I can't explain it. So I decided that I wanted to put a ribbon on because um, I really like these ribbons right now. And I was having a hard time figuring out where to put it. And as soon as I put it on, I realized that I actually didn't need to add to the painting. I needed to take away from the painting. Um, Again, it was, I think I had this problem last time. It was too bulky on the one side and uh, it took me a while to figure it out, but I finally managed to put two and two together and scraped it off and that improved it somewhat. And I actually went away at this point and I began editing the video. But <clears throat> while I was uh, editing the video, I realized that it was still kind of too bulky for me and um, I went away and I put my uh, painting clothes back on and everything and I decided to take off another big chunk of it. Um, I haven't decided yet whether or not this was a good plan or not. Uh, I think that it, it kind of took away a little bit of the drama of the painting a little bit maybe. So I've decided that uh, the darker colors add the drama to the painting and uh, that's why I lost a whole bunch of it because, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of darker colors in that bottom bit that I scraped off. But uh, thinking about it, um, I had put a whole bunch of black on at the beginning and it almost all but disappeared which is really unusual. I mean, usually when I put black on a painting, um, I have to work really hard on it, uh, not overpowering the whole thing. So like, I don't know what happened. I mean, maybe it's hiding beneath those uh, mysterious cells that were created without the silicone. Who knows? Anyways, um, I think that's about it. I mean, I spent a whole bunch of time cleaning up the bit that I scraped off and uh, smoothing out the white. And I added a couple more wispies too on the bottom just to uh, make the painting a little bit more cohesive and to match the top wispy bits. And uh, that's it, I think. I mean, I'm about to show you the close-up. The interesting thing about the close-up is that you can see the difference between the cells that were just created with the paint density differences, I guess, and the ones that were created uh, with the silicone. I think this painting ended up looking like uh, some sort of weird chicken or something. Um, anyways, I think that's about it. I hope you liked watching my video. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure you've subscribed to my channel. And also hit that bell button for notifications when I post new things. Thanks for watching. I hope they have a great day. Bye.